What's up YouTube, it's your boy Ace Adam. Welcome back to another beginner's guide. Today I'm going to be talking about gold and the best way to obtain gold and what gold can do and everything about gold basically. <laughs> Let's start with the basics. Um, you get gold, or gold is something you use to enhance your units, uh, proficiency up, and level up. Now if we head over to event, let's we'll start with super basic. You can go to money quest and obviously you can skip them to get money out of them and it gives you more money depending on the quest and this one right here money quest level 5 gives you 192,000 and money quest level 4 gives you 96,000 just so I should point that out let's head on back to my present box so I can grab a bunch of stamina to show you what I'm talking about here they're not stamina my bad uh, so basically you, what you want to do is if you're really low on gold you don't want to skip to get those missions you want to uh, do them like legitimately actually go in there kill the enemies as we can see right here let me click start battle prep now like I said this mission gives 96,000 uh, gold but you can if you do it manually you can actually change that and get way more out of it now if we sort by luck alright so my highest luck unit is my Aaron with 34,000 every 100 luck is 1% so if I use Aaron Jaeger leader like this and he has 3400, that means if I beat the mission, I would get 34% more gold than just the 96,000. It would take 34% of 96,000 and add that to my total and that's how much more I would get. That's just the basic understanding of this quest if you're trying to do it legit. <coughs> I don't think I'm about to find my mobile here again. Where is he? There we go. Uh, that's not the only way to obtain money, of course. You get money through anything in the game. Like if I go to, uh, let's go to story mode, screw it, I'll show you guys story mode. Anything in the game drops money basically, if we head over here, we skip ticket it three times, I should be gaining money out of this, like so, so I was getting 380 for a grand total of 1140. <clears throat> you also get gold out of objectives for some missions, if we head on over to events once again. We head on to special events, full deployment, I'll just start it, screw it. If we go to 5 kilometer and look at the objective rewards, I get gold, 2000 per objective I cleared. Now this isn't for all missions, you gotta check to see what it is for every mission. Now once again, uh, events do give you a lot more, you gotta look at it this way. You see these 5 little horseshoes, right, you take them to the item exchange, and no, oh, does shop not have it? Well, this shop doesn't have it, but most event shops, they allow you to purchase gold using the event item. Uh, I don't know if I could find it, but it doesn't look like it's in this shop. But yeah, you usually can buy like a, a thousand for one coin, which is not amazing, but it's also not the worst. It'll help you out if you're really low on gold. I don't suggest doing that though, because you should be purchasing other things in the shop. Now, if we head on over to, where is it? Item shop. This is where you can spend your gold for experience gems. Remember, you gotta do this for your daily anyway, so you might as well just buy like the small ones. The tiny ones are kind of useless. I'm just buying it for the sake of the video. All right, and set on back. <clears throat> you can also get gold by going over to item management, and you can sell some of your items. Do not ever do this. Look at how little gold that is, bro. That is nothing. Don't ever do this. Don't ever think about it. If you do it, you're dumb. Like, look at this. This is like aluminum. This stuff is super rare and hard to get. And look at that. Only 12,000. That's pathetic. I can literally get more by doing story mode. Don't ever sell your items. I don't suggest it. Don't ever sell your awakening materials. They're especially your rainbow ones. Don't ever sell those. Uh, XP gems, I wouldn't recommend selling them. Maybe the tiny ones. But look at that. Only 60k for 1,500. I would never do that. That's useless. Don't sell your items. That's the thing most people do in other games for gold, don't do it in this one. Now of course you can get gold out of your daily logins, so if you head over to messages, you can find gold in here sometimes. And for like present rewards, if I can find that, if there's a present box, so you just give out gold, where is it? I don't think I'm going to find it. Basically for birthdays, they sometimes give out gold, XP items, and like skip tickets as a celebration on top of the crystals, so make sure you always claim those. And that's basically the gist of gold in this game. There's not much more, nothing I can think of on the top of my head. They're not used for gotchas, don't worry about plaza. 
they're used for oh actually one more thing about leveling up a unit let's go to a level one unit level one right this is how you save some gold this is a tip say I want to go from level one to 41 you guys seeing this actually she's a uh, medium gems if I do this say it's only costing 1,000 per uh, per gold or per item it's only costing 1,000 right but if I go over to something that's a higher level oh man most of my levels are maxed how about oh well, he's maxed too Nifa right one is starting to cost 5,000 the higher the level the more it'll start costing so make sure you try to level up a unit from 0 to 100 real quick <laughs> That's, that's a tip I could give you if you're really trying to save on gold. Now, of course, I don't really care. Like, I just go in there and pull off some of these large ones or some of these small ones. <clears throat> that's basically it for gold. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button and subscribe. And deuces.